Hello and welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're looking at Vordio and we'll be using it to extract audio from multiple video clips. You can get Vordio from Vordio.net, V-O-R-D-I-O. What it primarily is, is a way that you can convert a Premiere Pro or a, a Final Cut XML file into a Reaper project um, so that you can edit all the dialogue and process it and do all the sound design and, and all that kind of stuff. And if there's any changes in those projects that needs to update in your sound design or your dialogue edit uh, project, you can also reconform. And so it's a great tool for doing that kind of work. If you're working on short films, uh, TV series, things like that, uh, it's kind of an essential tool. It's not free, but if you're doing that kind of work, it's highly recommended. If you're just using the free demo, then what you can do is extract audio as well as uh, replace audio in videos. So what I'm going to focus on today is just getting audio out of a bunch of video clips that I recorded on my phone. So in this folder here, I've got these video clips and I just imported them from my phone. Some of them are time-lapse, some of them have audio, some of them don't have audio. Um, I don't want to go through and figure out which ones which ones have audio and which ones don't. I'm just going to dump them all into Vordio and uh, any of the ones that have audio, it will make a WAV file version of those. So I'm going to the Extract Audio tab at the top and in here I'm going to drag in the files like that and the output folder I'm just going to go grab this um, icon, the media icon down here and just drag that into this path. So you can click on the Browse button and choose the folder manually, but I find often just dragging that in. And if you're on Windows, I'm sure there's something exactly the same you can do to, uh, to drag that in. To get this started, we just have to click Extract. Now it is creating a new folder here in my Media Files folder, and any of the files that had audio in them, it's going to create uh, a file with the same name uh, the same extension, adding .wave to the end. So as you can see here, it, it goes through pretty quickly. And we have 12 videos that have audio. Um, and so just those 12 out of the however many it was originally, uh, 21 videos had audio. And if we look in the completed section of Vordio, we can see which ones it uh, did videos of and which ones failed. And the reason it failed is just there's no audio in there. Those were the time-lapse clips. And so from there, I would just drag these in, up into my media folder and delete this, uh, the volumes video projects folder. Uh, in this case, I already had those files um, in the other folder originally, these ones here, from when I actually worked on this project last year. Um, but if that wasn't there, you would just, yeah move over, no problem. Every time you use Vordio, it will create a log file and show you uh, which files it, uh, it used as the source and then what happened from each file. And it's, it's kind of just for debugging in case something goes wrong, if you need help with something, you can share that with him. But in general, it's just that simple. So this is my preferred batch processor for getting audio files out of video files. And, um, and like I've shown in my other video production videos, it really helps to have the audio files separated from the uh, video files in the timeline, not just for organization, but uh, performance is actually better as well. So that's about all there is to say about this. Um, this is a function that's available in the free version. And if you need to batch process a bunch of files like this, I find that this is one of the best ways to do it. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter, support the Reaper blog through Patreon, and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.